Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be sharing how I make my Yorkshire puddings. I have used this same recipe for years and years and years. It's absolutely foolproof. I don't even know where I actually got this recipe from, whether it's from my mum or somewhere else, but it does work every single time, no matter if you're making a big Yorkshire pudding or individual ones too. My kids' favorite meal is toad in the hole, but they do like to have their own individual Yorkies. So I am going to be using this little kind of cupcake holder, and this is what I'm going to be making my Yorkies in today, and I'm gonna be making individual ones. So, like I said, I have used the same recipe for years and years, and it does work every single time. I use one measuring cup, and this is what I use to measure out my eggs, flour, and milk. You use exactly the same quantities for everything that you're going to pop into your mixing bowl, and that is simply how easy it is. So before you start making out your batter, the first thing you want to do is get your oven onto 190 degrees centigrade. I have got a fan-assisted oven here, so just adjust your temperatures according to the different ovens that you have. So I always start off with my eggs, and I always do one egg per person. So obviously there's four of us, so I am going to be adding in four eggs. I'm gonna crack them into my cup and I'll see how much the eggs fill the cup up. And that is my gauge for how much flour and then milk I'm going to be adding. As you can see, my four eggs has completely filled up this cup measuring jug. So I'm just going to pop those into my mixing bowl. And then before I add anything else, I'm just gonna give those a little mix around to get some air into them. Ooh, these are like really good eggs. They're so orange. Perfect. So now, like I said, I'm going to be adding exactly the same quantities of flour and milk into my mixing bowl too. I'm just using semi-skim milk here. You can use whatever milk you like. If you want to use dairy-free or whole milk or skimmed milk, that's absolutely fine too. And then I have got self-raising flour here. So I'm just gonna sieve my flour into my mixture just to get nice air into it, make sure there's no big lumps going in. If you only have plain flour, I would just suggest to put in half a teaspoon or so of um, baking powder too, because you don't want anything to compromise your rice. Right, great, so now what's left to do is whisk it all together. This does hurt your arm a little bit, so sometimes I do ask Chris to come and help me, because you want to make sure there's absolutely no lumps left in your mixture. Alternatively, if you've got one of those um, electric whiskers, works really, really well too. Oh, Chris. How's oh, that quite good? And so your butter is done. Right, what I'm gonna do is pop this to one side because the best way I find my Yorkies rise up is when I have left my mixture just to kind of settle for half an hour or so before making them, which gives you the perfect amount of time to get your oil in your little like holders into the oven to heat through. So while your batter is just resting, I'm gonna get some oil into the little baking tray holes. So I have got some ground nut oil here. The reason I'm using that is because it's got a really high smoking point. So as long as you don't use like extra virgin olive oil, that you can use other oils that have a really high smoking point. Just make sure you Look at that before you decide which one you're going to use. Now, lots of people put loads of oil into their pots, but I feel like I don't love that because I just feel like it's really unhealthy. So I just kind of make it so that my oil covers the base of each of my little pots. And then I'm just gonna just sort of go like this. So my oil coats around the sides and then I'm gonna pop this into my oven on 190 and it's gonna go in for about 10 minutes or so until the oil is really, really nice and hot. Right, I've had a bit of a clear up and now my oil is ready to take out. Okay, so we're just gonna literally pour this straight on in. Right, my batter is in and I'm now going to just put these straight back into the oven. I'm gonna keep the temperature at 190 degrees centigrade and these are gonna go in for between 20 to 25 minutes. Set your alarm for 20 minutes, have a check on them. If they look nice and golden brown and have risen really well, take them out. If you think they need a couple of minutes longer, then just leave them in for a few more minutes, but always keep checking. You wait till you see these. Look at those. I don't want to sound arrogant or anything, <laughs> but these look amazing.
if you are a Yorkie fan, no Aunt Bessies are going to outdo these. Look at the hole in the middle. You've got a great rise there. Absolutely delicious. And that is how I make what I think are the perfect Yorkshire puddings. Ah, oh, light, fluffy, deliciously tasty. Let me know if you give this recipe a try, what you think of it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh my God, are you from me? Um, like them?